Yeah, Rick Share, the entire pursuit lasted just 40 seconds, but in those 40 seconds, lives would change dramatically for the drivers here at the intersection of Central Avenue and the off ramp of the 105 freeway. They actually just started removing some of the vehicles from that earlier crash where a man lost his life and two teens, one of which was 15 years old, driving the car, is now in the hospital. For much of Thursday evening, the intersection of Central and the 105 freeway off ramp became the scene of a homicide. This video from a nearby gas station shows the moment two suspects, a 15 and 14 year old, crash into several cars, killing another driver. That's just part of the tragedy of the whole thing that we have two young, young, uh, you know, teenagers involved in the activity. Around 3.15 Thursday afternoon, the stolen copper-colored Kia passed by deputies from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Century Station at the intersection of Mona and Imperial Highway. When they observed a suspect vehicle driving at a high rate of speed, weaving in and out of traffic. According to Assistant Sheriff Bruce Chase, deputies wouldn't have time to catch up to the speeding driver, not even getting within 50 to 100 feet of the Kia before the car came speeding off the 105. From start to finish, the entire pursuit lasting just 40 seconds, spanning a distance of less than a mile before coming to a tragic end. As, uh, traffic was stopped on the off ramp for a red light uh, and the suspect vehicle uh, collided with several vehicles. The video shows the Kia clipping a work vehicle, then crashing into a red car, causing a chain reaction crash. The driver of that red vehicle died at the scene and has yet to be identified. There were two occupants in the suspect vehicle. Uh, the driver and passenger were both uh, extricated with the jaws of life. In all, five cars were involved. Deputies say the Kia was stolen from the Compton area just two days ago. Investigators say they are still working on charges for the teens. Assistant Sheriff Chase says, sadly, seeing a 15-year-old behind the wheel of a stolen car has become a common occurrence, and in this case, with a deadly outcome. It's not entirely unusual to have juveniles that are not even of driving age uh, uh, be in, in stolen vehicles on occasion, but, uh, but it is a tragedy nonetheless. And unfortunately, we have seen tragedy here before. Uh, unfortunately, just this week, there was another incident that happened at this same intersection where a, a, a fatal road rage incident occurred. Rick, you were out here covering it just last night, and now it looks like it's now uh, two days in a row that we have a homicide investigation at the exact same spot. Reporting live in South L.A., Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News.